Hey guys, how's it going? Um, back at the Virago build. I've been working this bike way too fucking long. I know that projects sometimes stretch. You get distracted doing something else. You got some other more important things to do. This is just fun for me. I'm building up for myself. I'm really enjoying the project. But it's been way too long and I want to get it finished. So today, we know it's running. Most of the major fabrication is done, and today we're going to mount that SU carburetor properly. Uh, that is the last bit of fabrication I need to do, uh, or the last major part of the fabrication I need to do on this bike. It's not huge job, it's not exactly super complicated job, but it's a very precise job. Uh, instead of talking about it, I'm going to drink my beer and maybe I'll show you what I'm going to do. I think that's the best way. <laughs> Right guys, cheers, and um, let's strip some of the shit down so we can get easy access to the carbon mount right now. Boom. Oh yeah. Right guys, so um, once this all crap, the contraption, the mock-up is off, we can have a clear view of what's going on over here. And basically, as you can see, we've got two inlets over there. Um, this, that's where the original uh, kind of adapters to the manifolds intakes over here. One on each side. And in between, I uh, had this uh, T-joint uh, T graders from a piece of aluminium um, see-through uh, notch together so that was basically uh, in between them uh, two um, adapters for the uh, for the intake and the carburetor was mounted over here on the end of that right obviously that was just a mock-up that was ugly as fuck I put lots of silicone and fireproof and heat proof and just to seal it up to make it you know as tight as possible airtight and mount the uh, carb on the end of it see whether that's gonna work or not it works actually pretty well so I need to tidy up and make it better obviously I'm not gonna reuse any of these pieces that was just something I found or lucky find you know and adapted these bad boys to make it fit what I want to do right now is to replicate what it was already here here and here but with clean uh, metal, with clean steel, something that can weld properly to, and I can weld a proper um, amount for the carb as well. So hopefully, uh, with a bit of luck, I'm hoping I can mount the whole thing here as one piece, starting with adapters uh, for the inlets, um, then a, a pipe going in between, like a T-junction, basically replicate this. So I need to uh, notch it, uh, weld it together, and on the end of that, a weld adapter to accommodate my uh, SU carb 
So it's all sitting here nicely and neat without all this horrible, horrible fucking bullshit. Simple as that, right? Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'll do my best to make it work. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need another beer. Cheers. So first job is to replicate this, well, that surface here anyway. Uh, so I have a steel based and a mounting plate, basically a face. Um, just like that, uh, maybe slightly smaller, maybe just a bit more curvy. But the main thing is to cover that precisely. And it's metal, metal. I can put some rubber gasket over here later on just to seal it completely. But yeah, still shit. You know the drill paper, cardboard, angle grinder. And uh, let's do this. Right guys, now this is done. Let's see if they uh, if they fit in here. They should do, <laughs> but you never know. Right, so that's a real one. By the way, I will be replacing these boards with uh, stainless ones. These are just something that was here 
and it fits so why not keep it for now all the bolts I'm hoping I'll be replacing all the engine bolts as well with stainless if I can find the equivalent if I can buy a kit you know I buy a kit if I can find the equivalent in the local hardware store I go for that you know try to uh, replace all the bolts all the fastening with proper quality bolts here if I can right so that's as far as it goes There's no movement so that's a good thing and the front one as well let's have a look Yeah, so far so good. Right, so this is good. Uh, the reason they're sticking out a bit too too much right now because obviously the previous um, uh, adapter, the manifold inlet, uh, was much thicker. You know, it was rubber, much thicker. So that was kind of. There was like a bushing, like a metal kind of space inside the plastic, the rubber. Um, but obviously I'll get shorter bolts or I get proper spacers done for this or remove these spacers from that. So they sit here. Uh, but there's no very little movement. So that means a uh, pretty much bang on. And how much neater and tighter that already looks. Uh, okay, next job is to cut the right holes in here. Right, crack up another B and let's do this. Right, so a little bit later I've got both of them done. They mount over the intake like this. I get in. Uh, pretty happy with that. I will need a slight adjustment. I need to file it by hand, probably like uh, less than one mil, half a mil I can feel over there, over here. Here is nice and flush, but obviously I didn't have the whole perfectly right in the central. It's very difficult to get it with simple tools. Same on this side, this side, bottom and, uh, and the left hand side I'm looking at it is perfectly flush with it. But on this end I can feel there's like a gap overlapping probably about a mil one millimeter and I just filed by hand so it's so the uh, the, uh, the the hole the opening matches perfectly the intake um, I think that's a good thing to do so I just need some uh, hand uh, elbow grease hand filing and, uh, and I think we'll take it from there right guys I think I'm gonna call it a, a day or call it a night <laughs> uh, for now um, Good progress tonight. Took me probably four, maybe five hours fucking about with just two little um, plates for the intake. But I'm happy with the result. That was very important to get the right. Um, it's a very precise job, you know. That is uh, the the core, the whole foundation of it. It's a three millimeter steel, so it's quite thick, you know. Um, definitely strong enough for the job. But not the easiest thing to work with, you know, even 2mm is much easier to drill and work with and especially cutting those uh, cone cutters, the holes in the middle, that took uh, quite a bit of work. Right guys, uh, happy with the progress so far, moving forward. Next thing, uh, we probably need to measure up uh, the pipe I've got over here. <laughs> i got more than enough material to make a mistake, got a couple of mistakes, hopefully it's not going to happen probably will um, to measure the, um, the the first 
piece of the T-joint in between the two cylinders, uh, two parts of the engine, so I can uh, kind of spot weld uh, the pipe in between those uh, the, the, the blanking plates, the plates, the mounting plates I've done. Uh, and then from that point we can do some tube notching and hopefully create a T-joint from um, the existing mount over there so we can mount the carb on the end of it. But that's a story for the another episode. Uh, today guys, thank you very much for watching, have a beer, rock hard, and I'll see you very soon. Oh yeah. <laughs>